All new tonight at 10 o'clock, a lawsuit over losses. Greensboro restaurants joining forces in a group lawsuit against their insurance providers. The restaurant owners want compensation for loss of income during the coronavirus pandemic. Good evening and welcome to the Fox 8 10 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil. And I'm Katie Nordine. Fox 8's Danielle Jackson spoke with the restaurant's attorneys tonight and a local owner about this lawsuit. So Danielle, what did they have to say? Katie, the four restaurants say this is why they have insurance in the first place. They say they've been paying these premiums for decades to help specifically during difficult times like this. We need the money now and they're not paying the claims. They're not willing to pay the claims. Restaurant owners in Greensboro thought they'd be covered by their insurance when they were forced to close their dining rooms because of the coronavirus. Chris Lester owns Natty Greens in downtown Greensboro. This is one of the times when we're devastated. All the restaurants up and down Greensboro and all over the nation are suffering. And that's the reason why restaurant owners like himself, along with Jake's Diner, Cafe Pasto on State Street, and Rio Grande Mexican Kitchen have all filed a group lawsuit against their prospective insurance companies after they were told they will not be paid for business interruption claims. We've been paying this premium for, I've been in business over 20 years and been making these payments every year. And now when we need it most, we're not, they're not taking the claims, so they're not paying the claims out to us. Drew Brown with Greensboro Law Center represents the restaurants listed on the lawsuit. He says these businesses bought a loss of income insurance policy for circumstances like this. That is a very physical loss, the loss of income. That's what they paid for. And so it's out and it's not excluded under any, any, any pandemic coverage. They did chose not to use pandemic in the language and the insurance company drafted the policy. We didn't draft the policy. Um, and it should provide coverage. The lawsuit filed back in April states how each business has been impacted by the coronavirus through the state mandated closures. The lawsuit also mentions funds businesses would have made through big events like the ACC and NCAA tournament, which were both cut short or canceled this year. This was devastating to our business. You know, hundreds of thousands of dollars we lost. We paid in to their insurance premiums for that loss of income and just let us make the claim and pay us. You're probably wondering what's next in all of this. The insurance companies will have to file an answer, and this could be moved to federal court. Now, the attorney we spoke with today tells me he believes the Supreme Court could weigh in on this decision by the year 2023 or 2024. Coming up at 11, hear how restaurants all over the nation are banding together when it comes to this topic. Live tonight in downtown Greensboro, Daniel Jackson, Fox 8 News.